Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's Wednesday, November the 9th, and I hope your day is blessed. Well, a blessing for me is to be here with David Parr, a longtime member of our church. David, how long have you been a member of this congregation? Well, before I answer that, Randy, I just want to make sure we're not going to have to wear those pumpkin costumes during this <laughs> segment, are we? <laughs> okay, with that, uh, well, you have to go way back. So our family moved to Charlotte in 1967. And we joined Providence in 1968. So using my not so good math, I think that's 54 years that we've been members of the church. My wife uh, subsequently joined 39 years ago in 1983, right after we got married. And we raised our three daughters in the church who went through confirmation here. We're extremely active in youth group as well. And so as you can tell, for a long, long time, this has been our home. You're a multi-generational member of this congregation, and it we are the, in your heart, and we are so delighted. Yes, thank you. Well, you know, David, they say time is money. We're underneath the clock, and uh, we're going to talk some money today, uh, the stewardship campaign that's uh, upon us. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, we're, we're totally excited about the, the campaign for 2023. Uh, the overarching theme, as always, is Providence Gives. Well, we actually have a specific theme for 2023, and that is love serve and give. And that actually came out of uh, one of our team meetings this year. So it's extremely appropriate coming out of a pandemic. And we lead into this Sunday, November the 13th, which is Generosity Commitment Sunday. We all have the opportunity to come to worship together and complete our estimates of giving for 2023. And as most everyone has seen, you have multiple ways you can do that. We'd love for you to do it in person here at the church. But if not, you can use technology, you can use the link, you can mail it in. But the key is that we all want to uh, fin all want to complete those primarily so that we can plan to maximize the impact that this church can have in 2023. A couple of other things are going on with Generosity Commitment Sunday as well. Uh, with our outreach, we are working with Rise Against Hunger. This congregation is to prepare 10,000 meals That'll happen immediately after the 11 o'clock worship service. So right back to the serve component. And lastly, we have a diaconia speaker in the ser in all three services on Sunday. Good friend of mine. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm, I'm going to leave that as a teaser. And I know that he is going to deliver a strong message surrounding generosity on Sunday. Well, David, thank you for that. And thank you for your commitment to the church. And, and that's a key word in all of this, as you've emphasized for us today. Um, we're looking for folks to make a commitment to the church, looking to the future, and uh, we appreciate that very much. Why are you so excited about this? Well, I, I, I'm excited uh, for, I guess to sum it up in one word, my excitement could be captured in the word impact. I'm so excited about the impact that not only this church has had in the past, but primarily the potential uh, for the impact that we can have in the future. And really for me, that falls into two buckets. First of all, the congregation members of Providence United Methodist. Personally, I come to church to be, to learn, to be inspired, to be challenged, and to grow my faith. And so when you think about it, there's really no larger source of impact for me personally than Providence Methodist. Secondly, I'm so excited about the campaign because it offers the opportunity for us to be engaged in missions and to impact our neighbors that are in need of our help and love. And we do that through all the different mi mission partners we have locally, internationally. We support missionaries as part of our giving. And so the impact we can have is really significant uh, as a congregation moving forward. No question about it. Well, this Sunday, November the 13th, Generosity Impact Sunday. We hope that you will support the church again. Coming here, putting a, a card in the, in the offering plate or um, connecting online, uh, either way, or in the weeks to come, if you can't be here this Sunday, we hope that you'll support the church. David, there's no question, but you are all in. I, I knew it.